Hi, everyone. Welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Thursday, January 12th, 2023. In this video, I want to hopefully set a few minds at ease. I've had a number of people asking me about a person who is gaining some traction in the truther community. His name is Christian21. He um, appears right now exclusively um, with my friend, Linda Paris, over on a site that rhymes with Fit Shoot. <laughs> Do you wear Fit Fit? <laughs> and her channel is called McAllister TV. Okay. Now, I've been reading um, things he has sent in to various people. Um, currently, um, Linda is the person he appears with. And the reason for that is apparently for a lot of years, he has been sending his information to a number of much bigger names in the truther community who used his information in part, profited from it. And uh, it's not that he wanted credit, it's that he wants to be his information to be set out there accurately, as I understand it. So he has chosen the two people that have not um, chopped away at his message when he shared it. And Linda is one of them. Blue Water is another. Okay. So, <clears throat> but now he's appearing in person and speaking. And he's not polished. And he has um, apparently a blended... Um, English accent that's really difficult to understand because he's so excited and he talks fast. And Linda has started adding captions so we can understand his message. And he's got a big diagram where he's trying to explain things. Um, as you know, uh, or may not know, but now you will. <laughs> I personally don't do terror reads about someone who is even marginally in the truther community unless I feel like I can give them a 90% thumbs up, okay? And that's a pretty high standard to meet. And, uh, and I also don't engage in what I call truther tips, but the reality is as the truth seeking or truther movement has gained traction, there are a number of people who have been compromised, thousands by the dollars. Maybe they were controlled opposition all along and now they're getting activated. So it's, it's a shame, <laughs> it's a shame that uh, there's not more trustworthy voices out there, but all of them, large to small, have some truth to share. And that's why I encourage you to listen to everybody and use your discernment. And no matter what the cards tell us about Christian 21, I'm going to do the same thing here. Give them a listen with an open mind and open heart, but discernment on, okay? Now let's see what the cards have to say. Since uh, um, Christian 21 is not platformed in a way that he uh, is monetized. While he's letting himself be in the public eye, I don't consider him to be the public figure that I would consider a politician or someone who is earning at least part of their income from, well, that's me now, <laughs> from what they do online, okay? And um, as such, he deserves a little more privacy than other people might, including me. <laughs> but hey, I got a pretty boring life. You're welcome to <laughs> zoom in on it all you want. <laughs> okay, so here's my question for the universe, one that I know uh, will be handled gracefully by the universe. What can the universe tell us about the truth seeker known as Christian 21, insights and information? And in a way, and to the extent that he would not mind that information being shared. So what does the universe have to share about Christian 21 that Christian would not mind having shared with all of us? Let's find out. Okay, universe, what do you want us to know? Christian 21 is providing a lot of information and some of it really resonates with me, like about the portals and stargates, and it seems to align with what some other people have tried to share in the past.
Ah, our first card is a star. Three of Pentacles. Justice. Strength. Three out of four cards already are major arcanas. Five out of, <laughs> four out of five. Here's the sun showing up. The magician showing up. The tower showing up. Six out of seven cards are major arcanas. Okay, let's take a look at this and see what these cards are telling us. Okay, guys, the star card indicates Christian 21. Right there, that tells us that he has a connection with the universe, with off-world source and energy that is worth heeding. He's deeply loved because of that connection. Okay? And he has had a long-standing association with uh, what we would call off-world energy that he is getting his insights from. Um, he's very well trusted because he hasn't capitalized on it. He hasn't, he has used good judgment in when, where, and how he shares his information. So the universe really trusts him to give us a message that's important right now. Recent past, we have justice showing up. Okay, now this is for him. This is telling me that uh, this man is, um, he, he has no devious agenda going on here. Okay, he is trying to share information so that we can make good decisions going forward on what we believe, what we anticipate, what we hope for. Okay, very strong in his energy, very strong. And the strength card is an, has an infinity symbol and uh, very loving. we got love, love, harmony going on all over the place here um, as far as this reading goes, okay? His connection to source, to his off-world um, communication, which he receives intuitively, um, is very, very strong, okay? Um, in the near future, we have this, the sun card showing up for him, okay? Um, he is a father, a very loving father, and um, the and he he shares that love for all children. Okay, he wants them to be well treated. He wants humanity to make this leap that we're getting ready to make that has nothing to do with politics, but everything to do with the future of our path as a race, a one human race. Okay. The magician shows up here. He is trying to help us manifest that because if we listen and learn and apply some of what he's sharing, we're going to be better at manifesting that because we, those of us who listen, those of us who practice manifesting, even though we're just babies at it, we're an important component in the changes that are coming to our world. In the near future, we have the tower card showing up here. Now, it's shown up in political reads at one time or another. And if you remember, it showed up all the time when um, the London Bridge event was getting ready to be announced. Okay? Humanity is facing a tower moment. Very much so. Okay? Um, it involves our son. So he's been talking about things like ice layers and things like that. Give that a listen. Give it some credence. Okay? because we're coming up to a very startling tower moment in the very near future, okay? And we want it to cause awe, not shock. We want it to be a positive step forward and that's what he wants for us and that's why he's doing what he's doing. Okay, let's get a couple other cards and see if we can get some more insights. We have the Knight of Pentacles, a very good stability card, I believe, his off-world energy um, is involved with an off-world military type of thing. Maybe not all of it, but some of it is involved with this fight that's uh, beyond our planet, okay? There's a galactic war going on. I truly believe that, okay? And he's going to be happy if we even just accept part of his message. All of it he is sharing in good faith. All of it is being shared in good faith. And he'll be happy if we just accept part of it. Okay.
So let's recap this. Apparently, you're going to have to be willing to go to less alt media mainstream sources to hear the message that Christian 21 has to share with us. It's worth listening to. His connection to the universe is real. His objectives are pure. Okay? And use your discernment. You might not choose to accept every piece of the message he has to share, but there's some good information there that's being shared with in good faith. And for those in the truth of community who had a chance to be one of his voices and stuff, and you used only part of his information and profited from it, karma's a bitch. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for joining me. I do appreciate your time, your attention. I try not to waste it. And um, I hope I gave you enough clues on where to find Christian 21 that you give him a listen with an open mind. And if you're like me, you'll also appreciate the captions because he talks pretty fast when he gets excited. And uh, I have a little difficulty following it, but uh, it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Till next time, love and light. Bye.